Today we'll be using FrostWire version 5. Okay, um, downloads will be in the description. Just go ahead and download and install FrostWire. And then open it up when you're finished. FrostWire is a free program, so if it asks you to pay for anything, don't pay. Let's go ahead and let it open up here. Once it opens, you'll be greeted with a couple ads free album downloads, small stuff like that. Down here will be all your previous download history if you've previously had FrostWire, as I have. And then up here, top left hand corner, will be a search bar. And that's where you want to search for your movies, audio files, stuff like that. So, I'll search for a movie. Now this comes up with a list of different movies, show you seeds, and the type of file it is. A couple other things. So say you want to download the Lego movie. You could either just download it with all the files, or you could select the content you want to download. I usually select the content I want to download. So go ahead and click it. It'll appear on the bottom. Just give it a second. Also, while searching for movies, you want to make sure you're on the torrent section, opposed to the program section or the audio or video selection. Not sure why it's not opening. Got to give it a second. Okay. Now that it's open, you could select what you don't want to download and what you don't want to. So, I won't want to download the README or the where it was downloaded from. Download selected files only. Then after, go ahead and remove this. But after your torrent is finished downloading, I do recommend that you seed your finished torrents and help your community out. So. To be able to do that, you right click, you explore, and this is a rip, so it takes a little longer to open. Try and find one. You explore it, and then you can open it up, go ahead and watch it. By doing it this way, it keeps it in FrostWire and allows you to continually to seed. Now you go ahead and just watch the movie. Some movies have subtitles on them, some do not. Like this one's got Chinese, but there are usually some pretty good rips in there. But uh, say you're downloading an audio file such as go with Taylor Swift. Don't know why. To download a full album, you would want to do a torrent. But if you're looking for an individual song, go ahead and go to oops the audio files, and you download track number 17, Taylor Swift, the moment I knew or you can download the whole album. Once again, you can go ahead and click on, you know, select what you want to download. It'll appear in the bottom. I don't know why it's taking so long to do. Really? Well, there we go. And then you can download whatever ones you want to download. Just go ahead and scroll through. And then download selected files only. 
And that is basically how you use Frostwire.